Okay, welcome back to LNL and come homestead. Yes, I'm just throwing these videos out here because I'm trying to make them short. I'm trying to bring you some content, okay? But on what I'm doing out here, okay? On what I'm doing out here. So, um, like I was telling you before, I was doing all this fog cleanup. Yeah, fog cleanup. I mean, there's a whole lot of stuff that needs to be done in the process of putting your seeds in and getting everything ready for the spring okay i'm doing a whole lot a whole lot but i'm taking my time when i do it but uh so yeah so where i'm standing at right now i'm inside my greenhouse because i told you i moved it remember i told you i moved it if you see that video you'll see i cleaned up everything up that was over there in the area where those uh Greenhouse was. My lips are white. Mm. It's dry. It's cool out here. Temperature changing. Look like I've been eating some dead gum powdered donuts. But anyway, back to what I was saying. So, uh, yeah, I'm inside my greenhouse. Yeah, I moved that bad boy. And it's still in the area where it was at because that's where all the sunshine is at. The sun rises in the east, and that's over that way. And the west is right behind me. So, my my, my vegetables are going to need some sunshine. You know? Okay? Uh, where I was at, I thought the pecan tree was going to die. But, evidently, it survived. We cut that one main vine that was up in there from the neighbor's yard. It was choking, choking my pecan tree. And, uh, no. I'm going to give you a shot of that one more time in case you didn't see it. It lived, and guess what? I had to transfer a lot. When I say a lot, a lot of vegetables over here on this side, okay? So I'm still going to use the other side of the yard. <sighs> Lord have mercy. I'm still going to use the other side of the yard. Only on that side, there's going to be a lot of cool shaded crops, okay? Cool shaded crops. So I'm going to show you what this pecan tree looking like. And you'll see why I had to move all the other stuff on the side that I'm on now. Okay, there it is, and look at this tree. All the leaves ain't fell out of it yet, but them pecan tree, them pecans are sure falling. They're falling everywhere, and I'm just collecting and collecting. And it was so much fuller than what it is now, but it's turning yellow. And it's so pretty because it's fall, but it's the biggest tree on the block because you can see it all the way look all the way over okay all the way over and so yeah now if you understand what i'm saying all the way over there that big old tree is taking out a whole lot of that garden over there yeah all the way over there all of that over there it's taking all of that it's all that shade it's just it's just taking it all it's taking all that so i have some crops over there and i'll take you back over there in another video so you can see i think you might have seen it before when i was doing all that cleanup over there Whew, lord so back to what i was saying i was cleaning out the area that i was decided to put the greenhouse and my patio i have a big patio back here okay and so i figured um i could use the other side temporary until i move it again but i'm gonna leave it here where it's at i didn't have to take it apart thank god and so the only thing that's not on there is the cover and i'm gonna have to put the cover back on there and i think i'm gonna do that and um then i can show you what it looks like with the cover on it if that's what you like I mean okay so this is what it's looking like on the outside of the greenhouse but I put everything that was in the greenhouse when it was out in the yard I put it on some concrete so that way I can be able to hold my shelves in there when I put my seeds and all that good stuff in there on the shelves and stuff like that and getting everything ready for the next garden season see what I'm saying See what I'm saying? Okay. So, 
I'm going towards the opening and that's where I'm at I'm in the opening area okay so yeah like I said I got a whole lot of patio space and I think this will work for me so I put everything in here and got everything pretty much organized the way I want it to be and I'll be putting some shelves over here I might move some back here because all the pots and stuff is on the back side because this is the back side of of the shed I mean that shed I'm sorry on the back side of the greenhouse okay so this was this is the shed and I got a whole lot of other um, yard stuff and garden stuff in there so that's a whole nother video because I did a lot of cleaning that day and I can see in there but it's pretty much organized in there as well too so I have a lot of stuff um, in here but um I gotta get another light bulb, y'all, because it's kind of dark. So, well, I'll show you that in another video. So, yeah, I did a lot of that cleaning, so I still got to see my little shelves and stuff like that and stuff. You know, little things like that. So, I'll be able to move that stuff um, on in here. So, yeah, this is what it's looking like. I ain't trying to make you dizzy. I'm sorry. I'll move a little slower. I'm my bad. And get kind of happy with this camera at times. So, yeah. That's my compost bin over here. And, oh, man, gosh. Y'all, look at this soil. That's wood chips. That's sticks. That's scraps. That's all that good stuff. Leaves and all that stuff. Um, stuff from the garden when I was, you know, when the season was out and all this other stuff. Everything is in there. Everything is in there. I saved some of them scraps, though. You know, I have to feed my little chickadees. But, like I said, if you want to have free compost, if you want to have free soil, hey, you better start doing it, y'all. Look at this. Look at this. You can tell it's good. I got to stir it up. I had grass and everything in here. Cardboard, everything. And the same thing is working like that over here, too. So, I'm going to have plenty of soil. You know, I got a lot of it coming. And then I got some in pots and stuff, too. Every chance I get, I just try to build me up a little compost soil. If you ain't got a whole lot of money, you better start doing it. I'm telling you, I got some off in here, too. You know, so, yeah. And that's what's going down. That's what's going down over here at the honeycomb. So... If you give me a minute, I'll show you the ta-da when it comes to me putting this overhead over here. Okay? Okay? Okay, y'all. The moment is real in these streets. So, guess what? Here it is. Ta-da. <laughs> so, yeah. The greenhouse is put up. Because I told you all I had to do was just put the cover back on there the back side because this is where I'll be growing my food on the opposite side of the yard and okay show you the front okay my bad show you the front side of it I mean that's the side view from the patio okay I'm gonna show you part of the front so I'm gonna give it an angle so that way you can see because I have no room to walk because I got to clear up the area but I'll be able to show you in another video um what it's looking like so it zips on one side on both sides it zips and here's the only inside and I was so happy that it's done and I do have my air vents where I can lift those up and roll them up. So it'll be having plenty of air in here. And also on this side as well. I'll be able to roll those sides up too. And I'll be able to hang up my thermostat up there. So I'll be able to know what the temperature is in here. And this is what it looks like on the front side of it. So I'll be able to come out my back door, back sliding door, and walk right over into here. And I won't have to worry about 
walking out in the rain and stuff like that. So, since I wasn't able to show you what it looked like. So, as you can see, I am picking up um, all the rest of my gardening stuff. And I'm going to be putting that inside the greenhouse and everything. Okay. And it'll look a whole, much, a whole lot better. And I'll show you the clean, the clean and finished um, product of it all tomorrow. So, y'all yeah, just stay tuned. And I'm very pleased and happy with it. Okay. So, if you enjoyed this video and what I had done today, hey, give it a thumbs up. Um, leave a comment below. You know what to do. You know what to do. And I will get back with you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.